very great team is a deadly aborigine. Buddy Franklin and Sue Rioli. Louis Jedda. You know what, brother? Getting sick of these old timers, brother. Yeah, they're being fun. You know what? I think we need to go out and start getting some current day players, brother. Some of our own. You know what? I think they've all forgotten about us, brother. You know what they say? Today's news is tomorrow's toilet roll. Who says that? They all say it. What people? All people. Well, I say it. So you use a newspaper when you're having a good now. <laughs> <laughs> Come <laughs> on, brother. Come on, brother. Got any food in here? Look at this bloke. Matt, what are you doing? Hungry Flash. He's walking around like he owns your place, brother. What's he like as a brother in law? He's right sometimes, but when he comes to eat my food, he leaves nothing for me. Come on, brother. Tell us about your 100th game. <laughs> to reach 100, not many people make that milestone. It was a good achievement to and play in front of Richmond. I know a good, good crowd, but I think it's the result that we wanted, but it's, it's a really good achievement to get there. Even more special, you had a, a big tribe come and watch you celebrate the 100th game. All right, so we're talking about Jeff's game. What does he need to improve on and what is he good at? A bit more aggression, I suppose. We need to get him in the box and ring him. No, teach him how to box. Yeah, well, I said to Mick, I was well, take him in the back room and give him a flog and <laughs> tough him up. <laughs> just needs to get more tougher. Tougher in there. Yeah, whatever, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jess, you've grown up watching me play football. You know, you're an expert on football now. Tell us, what does Jeff need to work on? I told him yesterday to go goal kicking oh. before the game. He reckons, nah, I trained all week, goal kicking. <laughs> well, his family all come over from Perth and kick one goal and four points. <laughs> so you got the opportunity to run out onto the oval with uh, your son, Nathan, and also his little nephew, uh, LJ. Yeah, and no, it was good to take take him out on the on the oval with me. You know, a proud moment for me to take to take Nace and Nace out there with me. Just a question about Nace. How old is Nace at the moment? He's two, two years old. No worries. And how quick you reckon he is? Over ten. Well, he's only two years old at the moment. Still got a fair bit fair bit to go, but I'm pretty sure he can do much better if he does play footy and for the Blues. There you go, Carlton supporters. 16 years' time, you're going to have a little Jeffy Garlet running around. Right here, Jeffy. Thanks for your time, brother. Appreciate it to be on the show, bros. You too, Darty, boy. You too, yeah. Darty. Catch it. <laughs> well, Nat, I've got to give it to you. Your nephew's got something special about him. There's a bit of talent there. Fellow, you've got to let it go. Nah, uh, look, I'm just saying, all I'm saying is, it could be something special. Now look, all I'm saying is, I've been on this kid for a while now. He's gonna be the real deal. I know, brother. He's my nephew. You've been telling me this for 15 years. Tell someone else, like an AFL coach. <coughs> yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. You're the worst manager ever. Yes, <laughs> yes I am.